So the next thing we need to look at is different work modes. Work modes are essentially workshops in real life. For example, a uh, carpenter's workshop, yeah, they make something with the wood, yeah, this is a wood or raw material, or maybe, uh, I don't know, clay or something that we change and make new things. But we do that in different workshops. For example, if you want to make some uh, object, some uh, product, yeah, you take the raw material and you bring it to the uh, modeler's workshop or carpenter's workshop and you model it, you, uh, you carve it, you extrude it and you make something, right? And then you take it to the next workshop, it's maybe painter's workshop, they paint on it and uh, they change something and then you move to another workshop where they add something to it and uh, until you bring the product to the finished end, you will be using, you will be uh, working in different workshops, yeah, in real life, maybe it's kind of real life alternative, right, but in here in Blender, you change different work modes right in, in this uh, 3D viewport uh, here from this drop down menu. Uh, currently, we're in object mode, and you press on it, click on it, and you have different work modes. Uh, different modes, uh, for example, the edit mode. Edit mode is uh, where we uh, you, uh, where we work most often. It's modeling works work uh, shop. You model something from here, right? Uh, you extrude, and uh, maybe you extrude these parts, or let's. Uh, extrude it like this and you create some doors or anything this is your uh, modeling workspace yeah uh, here you make different things I, I went out of it so you have different uh, instruments here edit mode is where you model your things and the next mode is sculpt mode where you can sculpt yeah, where you can do make some statues, right? For example, like this, you can add some, I don't know, maybe eyes, some uh, horn or different things because you have a lot of, uh, a lot of instruments here, right? This is sculpt mode. You have uh, more than enough instruments to create any sculpture. Next one is the vertex paint mode. It is painting vertices. It, it sometimes helps with materials, with uh, creating vertex groups and different things with textures and stuff. And you have a weight painting. Uh, it's also creating uh, vertex groups because uh, we will talk about vertices, polygons and uh, edge when we go into modeling section and it creates vertex groups because vertex groups uh, and then you can make use of these vertex groups to maybe grow something on this part of this object for example you can uh, vertex paint uh, weight paint your model's head and you grow hair on on his head so that you don't grow any hair on his face right the next uh, mode is uh, texture paint mode it's really uh, useful and you paint textures directly on this 3D model. It's so cool, it's so creative uh, and you can create any texture you want and you can make use of your creative ad abilities here, right? And there are some modes that can be hidden and that's only available when you add something to this. For example, uh, there is a particle system, right? You can make hair and there is another mode now and it's uh, particle edit mode so sometimes you can have some other modes let's remove this particle uh, yeah these are different modes work modes uh, but remember you uh, the different work modes depends on uh, the object that you have selected right if you select camera it doesn't show any other modes because uh, blender knows that you are not going to sculpt or maybe you don't you are not going to paint the camera because the camera is just for rendering stuff right you it knows that you're going to scale or rotate anything so uh, or if you choose light it doesn't show any 
modes. So it depends on the mo uh, on the object that you selected. If you select mesh, you have other. So apart from having lots and lots of editors for different purposes, Blender has work modes, uh, workshops where you can uh, create your finished product.